Mm-hmm. Hello, everyone. At the moment, we have uh, nine attendees of 115 registered, now 12. Uh, should we wait for a while? Yeah, sure. We can wait uh, a little bit, see, see who comes in. Yes, sure. Yeah, I will probably send it in the chat so everyone can see it, can read. Okay, I'm in the chat now and I'm writing to everyone. Yeah. Yeah, so we already have in chat. Hello, Nina. Hello, Anahit. Yeah, we can read the chat. Yeah. 18 attendees. Yeah, so at the moment, uh, we are waiting for the others to come and then we can start the webinar. Is it okay for you to wait for a while? Aha, from Riga, Latvia, we have Arita. Nice to meet you. Okay, so it's okay for you. If you want to speak up right now before we start our webinar, you can just raise your hand and uh, speak. Aha, we have uh, Sheena from Philippines. Nice. Welcome. Yeah, so we have a multicultural webinar and uh, it's really a pleasant thing to have. Greetings, Deborah. Hello, Lise. Mm-hmm. We, ha- we have also uh, Lingwan from Mautirius. Nice. Greetings. Yes, great. Okay, so we can start. We probably can start because people are coming and they will they will get the whole idea. So, okay, we are starting now. I will make a welcome speech and also we'll make a short presentation for you. Yeah. Hello, welcome to our webinar devoted to the Finnish education system and playful learning book presentation. So thank you a lot for taking your time and joining us. My name is Alena Dameika. And I'm an education specialist and sales specialist in Finland education, international education. Uh, This company exports values of Finnish education worldwide and made a lot uh, to make uh, the playful learning book to be published. Our webinar will be divided into three main parts. Firstly, we will tell you about Finnish education system and Finland International Education Company. Uh, Then the authors will represent the book, Playful Learning in Early Childhood Education in Finland. 
And finally, it will be possible for you to ask some questions and uh, participate in an open discussion. Just raise your hand and, and speak up. What concerns some technical issues? Uh, for instance, uh, if uh, you face some technical issues, it's possible to press the panic button, so you will be redirected to another room. Uh, also, it will be possible to uh, order the book if you are interested uh, by using the offering tools. So, uh, let's welcome our honorable speakers who will open the doors to the world of Finnish education and playful learning. Dr. Johan Storgard, he is a co-founder and owner of Finland International Education Company. Uh, he has a doctoral degree in science. He is a professional in leadership, uh, also in uh, international sales and creativity. Andrei Veremenko uh, is a program coordinator in Finnish National Agency for Education and in Education Finland. And uh, Andre has a very vast experience and background in educational sphere. He's been working in the Finnish Ministry of Education and Culture. Christoph Fenivesi uh, is a doctor in philosophy and uh, highly qualified professional in education. He's an experienced workshops team director and his research interests lay in the field of STEAM, trans and multidisciplinary integration in learning, also phenomenon based learning and many others. Additionally, there will be a video recording of uh, Pirko Karvonen and Mila Salonen, uh, who are PhD specialists uh, with a vast experience in uh, of work with children. So welcome our first speaker, Mr. Andrei Veremenko. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Alana, for this kind uh, introduction. Uh, and greetings, everyone. Uh, my name is Andrei Veremenko, as Alana said, and uh, I'm coming today from Finnish National Agency for Education and more precisely from Education Finland uh, program. I will tell you in this brief presentation a little bit of uh, Finnish education and what uh, makes it so special. I will focus um, somewhat on early childhood education, but we'll go through uh, the whole, um, quite briefly, we'll go through how, what is the structure of Finnish education system. And after that, I will uh, have a few words as well in regard of what's, uh, what is education through a program. So uh, let us start with the of course, most uh, important ones, uh, and that setting, of course, uh, us all at the same page. Uh, what is the Finnish National Agency for Education? And uh, Finnish National Agency for Education is a development agency operating under the Ministry of Education and Culture. And you can think of that, uh, that the Ministry of Education and Culture is the body for more strategic and uh, policy making operations, then the Finnish National Agency for Education uh, is in charge of implementing those education uh, policies on the national level, uh, preparing the national core curricula, uh, doing the requirements for the qualifications, for example, in uh, VET, vocational education and training, and of course, developing education and, uh, and teaching staff and internalization of education. I myself in the education Finland program would belong to the last um, segment, so to say, to internalization of education. And uh, as I mentioned before, I will go more uh, in detail a little bit uh, later in this presentation. And just for you to get the perspective of, of uh, what kind of um, agency we're talking about, we have about four st 400 staff members. And Finnish National Agency for Education is actually quite small in regard to other um, same kind of agencies uh, in different, different countries. Since Finnish National Agency for Education is responsible for early, early childhood education, pre-primary education, uh, primary education, as well as, um, of course, the um, upper secondary and as well as VET education. That's... Let us go to the most uh, interesting topic of, of my presentation, because of course the education uh, in Finland. And what would 
would be the better way to start the presentation, uh, if not to bring you once more to the same page with me in regard to Finnish education. You see, The Guardian has a brilliant article in regard to Finnish education. And uh, it, as you can see, the name of the article is Safe, Happy and Free. Does Finland have all the answers? And it's actually a more than four years old article at this point. However, it's still extremely relevant. And in that article, there is a quite um, quite good excurs into how did Finland got uh, from the hunger years and the famine to nowadays to topping, um, mo well, not most, but at least uh, numerous uh, international social rankings. So if you, at the moment, not very familiar with Finnish education, uh, this is what you, would be the first step that I would recommend you to start with. And when we talk about the Finnish education, well, one of the basic principles of Finnish education is, of course, that all people must have an equal access to high quality education and training. Uh, the same educational opportunities should be available to all citizens, uh, irrespective of their ethnic origin, age, wealth, or for example, where they live. And uh, of course, the second one is preparing, education should be preparing uh, our kids for the future. And as we see it, the best way to achieve sustainable economic growth and well-being in, in country is of course to mobilize the competence and talents of all citizens. And we do not really ask what is the cost of education, because uh, that is the question that usually arise, uh, arise uh, when we're talking about the educational reforms in, in, in different countries. But instead, in, here in Finland, we asked what would be the cost of not educating the people in our country. And especially uh, when we're talking about the small country uh, as we are here in Finland, about, uh, was it six and a half million citizens, we should really look, uh, look for each other, so to say. But of course, uh, to understand uh, and, and to go further from those basic principles, we need to, to go a little bit deeper into what is the Finnish education system. And this is actually the structure of Finnish education system. And as you can see, there's a, a, an age graph starting from uh, zero and uh, age basically goes up to 100 or, or as long as uh, we have our citizens leave. Um, and the reason for that is because we strive that our system is uh, is built or should be as well be in the future uh, be built for the lifelong learning. But of course, um, and and of course, the second part of, of the um, the best part of the Finnish education system is is of course that we do not have any dead ends in our system. So. Uh, as our students and, and children progress through the system, uh, either they go to general upper secondary schools or vocational education institutions and, and upper from there, uh, there's always the way to proceed further or uh, go back and, and get a new degree and a new uh, opportunities and, and new um, information and studies. But of course, we're here today uh, to speak more uh, in regard of early childhood education. And early childhood education and care plays a critical role um, in building this lifelong learning system of ours. Uh, since it's, it's building the foundation for everything that we, we have uh, here in, in the system. And uh, it's undoubtedly uh, one of the key factors why Finland is on the top of different international rankings. Um, that is because we, we strive to, to let our children to learn how to learn. And, and we will be talking about that a little bit more in case other presentations and, and my colleagues here are, are much better in those cases and, and to tell you a bit more about those. Uh, but of course, here in Finland, we have well-designed, high quality early childhood education and care, um, which can provide long lasting positive effects uh, on children's early learning and development, um, it as well resulting in improvements in overall social, psychological, physical, 
uh, as well as cognitive well-being and health, um, up to academic success and objectivity ability in, in, in life, not even speaking about the labor market performance and, and other socioeconomic um, mobility later in life. Um, and what comes to the early childhood education, as, as, um, as I mentioned, it plays a foundation for this lifelong learning through uh, for, for uh, lifelong learning education. And of course, that comes through uh, discovery and play. And uh, that is exactly one of the topics that we will be talking here today as well. Um, but here in Finland, we believe that early childhood education should support children's development and learning. It should compri uh, uh, comprise care, education, and teacher to support children's balance, uh, growth, development, as well as learning. Um, early childhood education and care is quite an intense phase of learning, um, development, and holistic growth of children. Um, and with those, we have a specifically designed science-based pedagogy and curriculum. Our system is based on integrated approach to care, education and teaching with a particular emphasis on a play-based pedagogy. And understanding the importance of the pedagogical possibilities of purposeful play and children's active agency, which is proactive participation, um, seen, is seen as an essential for effective early childhood education and care and children's balanced development and well-being. And those are the details that uh, I believe Johan and Christoph will be talking more about. But um, to keep you hungry on those topics, I will transfer actually to, um, to tell you a little bit more about the Finnish National Agency for Education and um, Education Finland program in general. You see, um, here in Finland, it was about a uh, little over 10 years ago that we, uh, as a government, on, on governmental level, we recognized that Finnish education is quite interesting uh, on a global level. And there is a lot of countries and, and other actors who, who would like to uh, get the same results and get the same method, methodology and, and pedagogy as we have here in Finland. And that's where uh, Education Finland program histories and, and, and actually education expert um, as recognized on government level uh, started its way. And back then we, we got this uh, governmental principle um, decision paper, which was called actually from, uh, from interest to demand, from demand to product. From there, uh, there was a few policy, uh, policies in regard to educational expert and how uh, we would like to share uh, our educational um, practices that we have here in Finland. From there, we went to the next one uh, with a more um, detailed policies. And in 2015, we started uh, taking the first steps in more coordinated uh, education expert activities. And after that, uh, and that when the first um, roadmap came in regard of educational expert. And a uh, few years uh, forward to this day, we have a new um, roadmap, which uh, sets a, uh, new goals for educational expert here, here in Finland. But the basic idea of our educational expert and, and the basic idea starting from the 2010 uh, when, when uh, the government recognized the educational expert and, and the need for that is basically that we want to learn together. We want to share our best experience from Finland to other countries and um, we want to uh, learn uh, by with, with those other countries by sharing these experiences. And going back to the Guardian's article that I, I showed you previously or, or before, um, there actually one citate that uh, is actually quite good in regard of, of sharing the international experience and sharing the Finnish experience uh, to other countries. And it says that there are limits, of course, to the usefulness of this exercise. No two countries, their circ circumstances, their histories, their people can be the same. Learnings may not be transferable. The magic sauce of 
the Finnish uh, miracle would not produce the same results in other countries. And that's why uh, we want to learn together and we want to share our experiences uh, in the ways that would benefit and that would fit the other cultures, uh, countries and col cultures. Uh, we are here at uh, Education Finland, have uh, over 125 companies at the moment, and uh, our main our main goal is to help the Finnish companies share the best practices from Finland. And to help that, and to help them do that, we have uh, this member system, which is basically a quality control for the companies who is doing the educational expert. And Fine right here, actually, who is hosting this uh, kind of webinar today, is one of our members as well. So anytime you, you see the uh, official member Education Finland logo, um, you might be you may be sure uh, uh, that that's a good quality uh, body who who knows uh, how to share the best best practices from from Finland. But without further ado, I think we should dive into this today's topic uh, and, and more in detail in regard of early childhood education. So uh, let us take a plunge into Finland's uh, and happiest country in the world and let us learn together. So thank you everyone. And uh, please, if you will have any questions, just uh, contact me. So thank you. And Alona, back to you. Yes. So thanks a lot, Andre. I think we will, uh, there will be a question section uh, in the, in the end, but if somebody wants to ask a question now, you are, you can do it. Okay. Okay, but anyway, yeah, there will be a question section, and now, uh, and now, Dr. Uh, Johan Storgart will tell you a, a bit more about Finland International Education Company, what we are doing, and how can we export these very high values of Finnish education to your country, to your kindergarten or school. Johan, we cannot hear you. Hear you, no. Oh, you can hear me. Thank yeah. you very much, Elena. Thank you very much, Andre, for for your your presentation of Finland, Finland and Finnish education export to the world. Um, yes, I'm Dr. Johan Sturgård, and uh, um, and uh, I'm the CEO and the owner of of uh, Finland International Education. Um, this company was founded uh, 2019, but originally we started uh, 2016 by exporting early childhood education to China in another um, corporation, and um, then understood that that it's really a whole global market that is open for Finnish early childhood education, and and then 2019 we founded uh, the uh, Finland International Education Mother Company. I will run through a short presentation so you know what we are doing and uh, maybe the most important thing which we'll get into later is is the book that we have just published uh, together with Ottawa Learning. Um, Finland International Education um, has now gone into a new mode of, of uh, also providing uh, uh, real uh, understanding and theoretical and practical background behind playful learning, which is a very central part in our um, programming. Uh, Finland International Education's mission and vision is clear to bring Finnish early childhood education to the children around the world and, and to be a leader in high quality early childhood education in the market. How do we do this? Yes, we have some central values, trust, respect and equality. And as Andrei said, Andre said earlier that this is the also the basic uh, building blocks in our early childhood education. The due due to, to to Finland, the reason why Finland is is a very happy country um, is because we sort of have moved the family's uh, um, living room into a so-called day home in between nine in the morning till five in the afternoon. Highly uh, educated teachers take care of the children while both parents are working. This is something that Finland understood 
after the Second World War that we need to create uh, a, an environment where where the f the family safety is is also implemented during the day. This means that the children in the daycare centers uh, or the kindergartens or the day homes, as we call them, Päivä Koti in Finland, they're focused around play, free play and also play through learning. Um, we are an official member of Education Finland, as Andre said, and uh, that's a very central issue for all the, the respected uh, education export companies in, in our country. And um, the idea is naturally to to support everyone. We work as a big group, 125 companies all help each other to, to implement a, a Finnish uh, trust around the world. Our company provides skills and know-how to educate children, to learn, think and solve problems while using playful learning. And playful learning is a central issue in all the parts of the world that we are active. We have uh, sold our licenses and sold our products and teacher training programs to a, a large part of, of uh, the continent. Um, our services are based on three basic uh, products. There are licenses, daycare, kindergarten, school licenses, and uh, teacher training, training programs uh, online on-site, e-management training, online on-site, play-based, phenomenon-based learning in, in all its senses, and trainer training, as well as study and school study visits to Finland. We have now started our publishing uh, structure, and uh, that is uh, uh, then the first book uh, now um, scientifically and practically uh, giving uh, advice to interested readers. We also have 500 playful lesson plans for children between two to six years of age, all in our uh, programs. The license solution is simple. It's five building blocks, starting from an academic plan localized in every society, because every society has different uh, backgrounds and different uh, traditions. But we start from our own uh, academic plan, which is then centered around zero to six or uh, the K-12 uh, classes up to nine. Teacher training is a very central part. You can't uh, go forward without having uh, an, an ambition to implement the pedagogical and methodological, uh, theoretical and practical uh, learning. The management training is central. Uh, to understand what the teachers are doing and why they're doing what they are when implementing playful learning on all levels. And then we have the pedagogical content con consisting of, of over 500 lesson plans on, on all different levels. And then naturally brand, brand guidelines and, and logos and, and ways to implement uh, a, a safe environment. Our teacher training is built on eight basic blocks, introduction of fine, of course, uh, theoretical background, foundation of Finnish early childhood education, and then, of course, the child in the center methodology, and then uh, methodologies in playful learning and, and phenomenon-based learning, 21st century skills and social skills, very central in, in our products. And of course, the fine, uh, the lesson plans, pedagogical content, and then me as a teacher and how does a day in a fine kindergarten work. We have a teacher's manual that is a, a, a book of about 100 pages of, of theory, but also practical solutions to how to work as a fine teacher. This book that uh, Christoph is going to present more in, in, in detail today is, of course, very central to this uh, webinar. This is all you need to know of playful learning in Finnish early childhood education. And this is really historically the first uh, scientific, but also um, scientific book in the matter of playful learning. It has been uh, researched very much and, and our, the, the reference list is, is huge. There are 220 references to scientific uh, research and therefore it's 
not only a practical book with the hundred 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 playful uh, learning assignment, but it's also um, centralized around the the scientific uh, discoveries behind why play is so important. You all know that when you were children, um, you used play as much as possible. And play is really central to understanding uh, the world around you. You know that, that uh, children play uh, family games, they play war games, they play all kinds of things to sort of play with issues that are related to something they understand about the world around us. Now, that's always very, very, very inspiring to see children play. And play can also be used in, in all, all kinds of, of, uh, of activities, art, music, mathematics, science, um, and of course, uh, the nature around us and, and all materials. So, the finish is easy pedagogy. Of course, there are the theoretical backgrounds, practical methodology, and, and over 100 playful activities uh, are, are then stated in the book. But that's more later. About our pedagogy, uh, Finland International Education uh, prepares the children for living in a community, help the children to grow up into happy human beings, and provide the child the best possible basis for lifelong learning. This is central. Uh, the central building blocks in the in the in the methodology using playful learning. We have uh, four main uh, levels: under two years K1, three to four, four to five K2, five to six K3 preschool, and then of course K12 primary class one to four. In general, we work with themes. This is called phenomenon-based play-based learning. We have eight basic themes, animals, people, space, seasons, colors and shapes, environment, fairy tales and technology. And all of these themes are being produced during a period of five to seven weeks when the children are uh, working with these themes and exploring them and finding out and using play as a game to, in a way, experience and uh, elaborate with the themes. Um, the approach to learning is uh, learning through play. We learn through play. We learn when we copy uh, adults. We learn when we copy others. We learn when we create new games and new rules. Um, it is very important to let the children have a possibility to play. Uh, in some senses, the play should be supported, but most of the time during the day in the Finnish kindergarten, the children are free to play. We are outside every day, it doesn't matter if it rains or snows or the sun shines. The children need to go out, they need to exercise, they need to use their energy. Um, participation is important in our pedagogy. The children's voice, the children's interest is, is central. It's a central energy for the children to, to, to sort of become a part of the group and also be listened to it. It enhances the self-confidence and self-assurance and, and, and that's important. Phenomenon-based learning is essential. It's uh, through topics that are connected to the interest of the children. If they're interested in nature or if they're interested in space, they should be able to explore these interests. That way they can find out and they can learn a lot of other things uh, in, in, in relation to what they are experiencing. Counting stars, for example, if you're interested in space or counting uh, bugs in the woods that you're ex exploring is mathematics, simply. Every day is also a learning exp experience. Uh, the children are learning from the second they come to the kindergarten, how many 
kids are in, you can find that out by looking at how many uh, rubber boots or, or shoes there are in, 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 in the hallway. Uh, social skills, life skills. We call them 21st century skills today. Skills that are important uh, and, and so-called soft skills. Skills, cooperation skills, creative thinking skills, skills that are necessary when it comes to understanding a participation between other people. And that's why this picture is very, very central. In a Finnish kindergarten, the children are running towards their interest. The teacher is uh, walking behind, supporting them on their quests, questions and, and, and uh, elaborations regarding the themes they are discovering. It's not random play, it's learning through play. Uh, through this uh, pedagogical, methodological manner, we can develop critical thinking, problem solving, creativity, also a digital literacy, leadership skills, teamwork, self-esteem, emotional skills, all of these are, are central, where the children are in the center and the adults are supporting them in the direction that they are going and want to go. Assessment is something that we don't uh, really emphasize on until much later in the school uh, path. We have some references. Um, there are some kindergartens being built. This is a kindergarten in Zhejiang, China, um, some 20,000 square meters. It's going to uh, inhabit some, some thousand children when it's ready from the age of zero to, to six. Uh, it's going to be open 2022 in the fall. Um, this is a picture from our online teacher training in India. Um, that um, COVID was very hard on 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 on, uh, on the education export, of course, because we couldn't travel, we couldn't meet with with interested partners. But uh, we moved our teacher training on to on to an online platform, and it has been very successful in relation to 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 the partners that we have been dealing with. Um, this is an on-site teacher training in Hufei uh, just before COVID hit really hard but that's also something that happened and was very successful and uh, the teachers are very happy in in their uh, practices uh, when we send our teacher trainers to the rest of the world this is a a, a program uh, conducted in vietnam also 2019 anyway uh, the book will be, of course, offered to, to anybody who's interested after Christoph's uh, uh, great presentation of, of, of the book today. But uh, these presentations will be available, uh, of course, anytime you are interested. So just uh, acquire them through sending us a mail or at least in the chat you can say if you want uh, our addresses and mails, mail addresses, you're very welcome to, to do so. We are really happy to, to, to have you all here today uh, listening to us. And of course, I also want to, to uh, express that uh, we are um, uh, sending our, our hopes to the Ukrainian um, people uh, suffering due to an, uh, the, the crisis there and, and uh, the unfair invasion. So I think it's very good that we all uh, stick together and, and uh, think about the children and the next generations. They are the ones that should be brought up in a safe and, and secure environment far away from that kind of of behavior so thank you very much from my point and and i'm happy also to get to to, to have some questions and, and answers later in the presentation uh, so thank you for my part
Thanks a lot, uh, Dr. Johann Storgart. And now there will be a presentation of Playful Learning Book uh, by Dr. Christoph Fenivesi. And there will be also some uh, recording, video recording of uh, two more authors and also of the editor of the book, uh, of Pirko Karvonen and Milak Salonen. So welcome, Dr. Christoph Fenivesi. Thank you very much, Alena, uh, for uh, hosting uh, this uh, very contentful webinar. And thanks a lot for Andrei Vermenko, Vermenko and uh, Dr. Johan uh, Storgard for having this uh, great opportunity to celebrate, even uh, during these uncertain times, uh, this very important uh, topic. And thanks a lot uh, for Dr. Storgard to giving the bigger context also uh, to these questions, uh, what we are talking uh, about today, because there is a lot on, on stake uh, in these moments. Um, and we learned quite hard lessons during the pandemic, and we learn as hard lessons uh, also uh, in these, in these uh, weeks as well. So, but there is still a reason to celebrate because we want uh, that these ideas uh, are uh, helping us uh, to have uh, uh, maybe a better, uh, a more wiser generation uh, coming after us. And I think uh, the main question that do we agree in that, that our, our children must be more sensitive, must be more wise, must be more clever than us. And I think this is, this is the main challenge uh, the main question in education uh, still from the beginning of the humanity and uh, i think uh, this is uh, what uh, finnish education and uh, many other great examples uh, can teach us and as it's a book presentation event uh, let me literally present uh, this book so here it is it's still hot uh, coming from the print. You can see there are beautiful illustrations and photographs uh, included and uh, very many uh, different aspects are discussed. Uh, you, you, you have seen, you have heard uh, many of these uh, information, this, this context uh, already uh, presented uh, by Andre and, and, and Johan. And actually, uh, it's a it's a really practical uh, handbook which uh, really uh, stands on these broad sources. Also includes uh, not uh, only the present, but also in many ways the past and the and the future. Also, a future vision of uh, Finnish early childhood education is uh, represented uh, in this book. So uh, let me uh, invite you uh, to uh, take a closer look uh, into what's in uh, this book. As you can see, I'm uh, very much uh, into uh, hands-on uh, learning and also the proximity, the, the community experience of learning is very uh, important for me. And uh, also as working in this innovative learning environments uh, research group, uh, this is uh, what we are taking care of uh, in the Finnish Institute for Educational Research uh, to uh, study and develop uh, the learning environment. Of course, uh, when we say learning environment, we think about the physical environment, but also uh, let's uh, extend it to the emotional, to the social environment. And also let's talk about those devices, those technologies, and those very ancient uh, games or those objects uh, coming from nature, uh, which are uh, becoming uh, important learning tools or, or games or uh, the, the starting point of our imagination uh, as we uh, all experienced it uh, still uh, from our childhood. So this is uh, what uh, this book uh, can help you to understand, to look uh, on the world from this perspective that how you can uh, create uh, a meaningful, a contentful game from actually anything 
around you, everything around you, uh, and how uh, you can link uh, these experiences also to this very um, deep uh, framework of, uh, of Finnish education. So as you can see uh, that uh, there are uh, great uh, recommendations uh, behind this book. So uh, Pia Kola Torvinen, um, uh, Councillor uh, of uh, Education, and uh, Ulla Harkonen, Professor Emerita uh, from University of Eastern Finland, is uh, uh, recommending uh, this book, especially uh, for this holistic um, approach and uh, that uh, how uh, it's successfully uh, combine uh, the practice, the experience with this uh, strong research basis, which has been very important uh, in, in, in Finland, actually. And uh, as you can uh, heard, uh, as you could hear already, um, the Finnish uh, school system and early childhood education have a go good uh, reputation because mainly of this holistic and ch child-centered uh, uh, learning. And of course, uh, there are also legal uh, guarantees uh, for, for this context and also uh, a lot uh, coming from the attitude that how we can recognize the child as a part of the community, the child as an active explorer, an actor, a child, uh, who can uh, take care of uh, uh, herself and uh, how we can promote children's well-being, healthy lifestyle, and how the connection uh, with, the, with the families uh, is also um, enriched uh, uh, by uh, this uh, uh, Finnish uh, uh, system of learning. And there are many skills uh, and competences uh, to be developed uh, through uh, these uh, plays and how uh, we can help children to, to become themselves, to recognize uh, their, their identity and learn about uh, themselves and the others through many uh, different activities. And also uh, in Finland, there is an important um, uh, stage uh, of the early childhood education, and that's the, that's the preschool. So Finnish education is very, uh, uh, much taking care of the continuity of education. So you all have uh, heard about the lifelong learning uh, concept. So this is very, very important. And definitely in the terms of uh, early childhood education, there are imagination, intuition, even some kind of magic uh, is uh, emerging uh, in the everyday realities of the, of the children to extend uh, the, the the possibilities, the capacities of of the human uh, beings. That's 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 actually uh, the main goal uh, here. And uh, these uh, diagrams um, uh, you can also find actually uh, in the book. And also these are uh, actually coming from the uh, Finnish uh, uh, national uh, core curriculum uh, for early childhood education. But to summarize it uh, very easily, I would just put play uh, in the in, in all, all over uh, this uh, diagram because that's uh, what links together uh, all uh, these areas uh, in the world of the children. So Pirko Karvonen's uh, name has been already uh, mentioned uh, quite a few times because actually she's a real authority uh, in the field of uh, early childhood education and she called together us, uh, called together this project uh, to uh, create uh, this book. And she invited actually all the authors uh, to this book. And um, it, it has been a, a great uh, adventure uh, to uh, work uh, in, in her team uh, during uh, the process of, of creating this book. And as you can see her records, uh, she, she really uh, knows uh, everything. Uh, in, in a really uh, broad perspective uh, about early childhood education. And uh, she's a specialist uh, herself uh, in various areas uh, in, in this field. And she served to train uh, a lot of uh, current uh, Finnish um, early childhood educators uh, who are active. Uh, I, Pirko, uh, for uh, family circumstances, uh, cannot be with us uh, today. 
but uh, she sent uh, a little uh, video message. So I will start uh, this. I hope uh, you can hear it. Can't hear anything, Christo. Okay. Uh, I don't know actually what's the reason uh, that um, we cannot hear. Uh, but um, uh, let's return uh, to this later. Uh, I, I can try to uh, re repair it uh, uh, later. Do you see my slide? Uh, maybe I can start the video then. Uh, no, 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 I, I don't recommend because I selected some specific parts. Uh, so let's let's return to this later. Uh, uh, do you see my slides? Can you see my slide? No, not at the moment. No, okay. So I, I start another, I start to share it again. Just a moment. Yes. Okay. Here you can see, right? Okay, slides up. Yes, now we can see. Okay, very good. So let's uh, try to uh, return to Pirko's uh, message uh, a bit later. Uh, and now let's uh, introduce the further authors. So uh, another great author is Milla uh, Salonen, who is um, uh, coming from uh, Helsinki. And uh, she uh, has been a, a student, actually, uh, from uh, Pirko. Uh, and uh, she um, also uh, has a very broad um, uh, specialties in uh, narrative play, uh, storytelling, playful learning uh, environments. Uh, so uh, many, many, many fields. And uh, she's also been uh, contributing uh, to uh, several books uh, in, this, in this field earlier. There is a video message from Mila as well, but now I recommend that uh, we uh, return to that uh, later when we manage to find out uh, how to uh, get some sound uh, to these videos. So uh, let's uh, move on uh, to the further authors. So my colleague uh, Tuliki Ukkonen Mikkola, uh, she's a teacher trainer in early childhood education and uh, her uh, interest is uh, development processes uh, within working life and also uh, she uh, organizes and provides uh, a lot of uh, practical uh, trainings uh, as well uh, to the uh, future uh, kindergarten to the future early childhood education uh, teachers and she's also leading uh, research projects uh, in the uh, University of Ivascula uh, in connection with uh, topics of early childhood education. Laura uh, Taitonen uh, is coming from Tampere and she took care about the uh, chapters uh, concerning mathematics uh, and mathematical skill development through games uh, in the book. So when I uh, telling about the authors, you can also see that uh, how many different parts of Finland uh, they are they are coming from and contributed uh, to this uh, to this book. So that's also shows uh, that there is a broad and essential uh, content uh, is coming together uh, here. Elina Laine, she's a practicing uh, early childhood education teacher as well, like like Milla and uh, I brought also some videos uh, from, from her kindergarten. Actually, she's also the teacher uh, of, of my uh, children. That was a totally a total coincidence. Uh, I, I just found out later uh, when I, I was already uh, working on this book that actually three teachers of my children are involved. And I can say that uh, I'm, I'm pretty much uh, convinced uh, also uh, that everything is true, <laughs> what, what you can uh, see in this book, uh, because I, I experienced it in, in, in practice as well, what uh, I could read uh, in Elina's 
and Susan had a fabulous uh, uh, contributions. And um, uh, she's a specialist, uh, Susan, uh, of bilingual uh, pedagogical approach. Uh, you know that uh, Finland uh, is uh, at least bilingual, but let's say multilingual uh, country. So uh, both Swedish and Finnish are official languages. And there are many, many more languages, of course, nowadays, including Ukrainian language and, and many other languages uh, in the everyday reality in uh, Finnish early childhood education centers. And believe it or not, every each of children uh, is uh, uh, greeted and welcome on their own language. And uh, Susan is one of those teachers who uh, take care uh, to grow the multilingual language identities um, in, in, the, in, the, in, in her kindergarten, but there are uh, great uh, people are taking care of it uh, in, in every kindergarten, uh, actually uh, all over uh, in Finland. Baby Erkila, she's also a very experienced um, uh, teacher, uh, trainer as well, and she's a, she's a, she's a practicing uh, early childhood educator but uh, she's leading uh, teacher trainings, uh, professional development in many uh, parts of the world, uh, from India to other, other countries. And uh, she's also uh, a wonderful uh, master of play uh, when it comes to everyday creative learning in the Finnish um, early childhood education centers. Yes, uh, and I also contributed uh, to this book you might have already recognized on my name that actually I'm the, uh, I think I'm the only one non-Finnish uh, uh, author uh, here. Uh, I'm Hungarian, I came 15 years ago uh, to Finland. And when I first uh, visited uh, a school and then uh, early childhood education centers later, I really felt that um, I must restart uh, studying here. I'm sure if you're going to visit uh, with the help of uh, Finland International Education, for example, you will have the same experience. So it was a very obvious uh, 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 career choice that uh, I became a researcher of education here in Finland. And then I also recognized that I'm one of the tribe as well. So I do a lot of uh, programs uh, as well in um, in, uh, in, in STEAM uh, uh, learning together with children. So not only teacher training, not only research, but also a lot of activities. And I give you uh, some uh, videos uh, from, from, from these environments and you can see that how an everyday uh, uh, starts in a kindergarten. You can see that uh, these uh, children are dressing uh, themselves. So it's very important to teach those is how you can take care of yourself and, and how you can take care of uh, these, these are very uh, important uh, uh, qualities and values here. And uh, Elena, uh, one of the authors, uh, is here. She just uh, uh, providing uh, ropes and rings and many different uh, sport equipments uh, inside uh, the early childhood education center because play uh, of course cannot be play without physical activity without a lot of um, bodily activities and opportunities for embodied uh, learning which is uh, very important uh, to, to recognize and not only when it comes to uh, uh, younger children but in uh, every age group of course and also uh, the the moments of of rest to, to be calm, to relax, to have your own space, uh, to, um, to uh, collect, recollect uh, what, what's happened and, and, and having a calm time also. This is very important and you can also see different equipment uh, uh, given uh, for all of this uh, in the uh, in the uh, kindergartens, in the early childhood education centers. These are all described uh, actually uh, in, in the book. And if we move uh, forward, uh, Johan already mentioned uh, how learning 
plays a very key role uh, in uh, Finnish early childhood education. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't find now uh, those records which uh, show the full snow uh, in this and ice and mud and uh, uh, water uh, in this in the same area uh, in Elina's uh, early childhood education center. But you can believe that uh, these children are playing outside regardless of uh, what's the weather like. There is a Finnish saying that there is no bad weather, but only inappropriate clothing. So this is this is very much true uh, in in these terms, and of course um, indoors uh, play uh, playing in groups and using actually very simple materials. But uh, each of you uh, can can create. You not necessarily uh, have to spend a lot uh, to provide these activities, uh, and there are many activities which not even uh, require actually any kind of uh, toolkits. Uh, but these are all uh, described uh, in the book. So more than a hundred of these of these games are described in a very short, uh, very very simple simple way, and and you can just uh, start uh, to uh, implement them uh, in your own home also so not only in your own uh, uh, kindergarten but but so if, if you are interested uh, as a as a parent uh, in in all of these uh, aspects that uh, you can uh, try uh, uh, implement this uh, what 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 is all uh, in the book so there are still a few uh, images uh, of these spaces and I know that uh, Finland International Education is also uh, happy to uh, assist you uh, to, to build uh, these kind of spaces, to realize these kind of uh, spaces around the world. So, uh, and uh, you, you can see uh, uh, these, these examples uh, also in the video that uh, how many forms of interaction and uh, how many skills uh, are, are are developed throughout uh, conversation and throughout uh, these these activities so not only the free play the free play is very important but also facilitated uh, play events are uh, coming more and more important uh, as the as the children are so uh, uh, becoming uh, uh, in a in a more and more older uh, age uh, in uh, the uh, context of uh, learning. So you can see uh, some of the main uh, topics here. This was also already part of uh, Johan's uh, uh, presentation. So these are all uh, systematically uh, describing uh, these, these uh, type of activities here. And if we uh, take a look um, of the um, structure of the book, so uh, there is of course um, an introduction to to put you uh, in a in a context and there is uh, different parts of the book so in the first part you can learn about the principles about the guiding ideas about the background of early childhood education and care in finland which includes many aspects from legislation to uh, different kind of pedagogical frameworks, pedagogical models, and uh, some of these uh, key concepts like what play is meaning uh, as an activity, what participatory pedagogy uh, means, and how you can assess uh, quality and how you can evaluate uh, these uh, practices. Uh, these are all uh, summarized uh, in the book. Then uh, part two, about apply, applying the learning areas in early childhood education this starts to go uh, deeper in the content and you can see that from interaction to language uh, through uh, development uh, of uh, language skills and building uh, a literacy literary culture uh, is uh, summarized in the book just like uh, the different uh, elements of art education, how musical expression, visual expression is uh, uh, embedded in this in this place, and how mathematical thinking and how uh, these cognitive skills, higher order cognitive skills, are induced 
uh, in these playful activities and how even the combination of different um, fields of science, technology, engineering, arts and mathematics are already reflected uh, in, in very simple uh, games actually and very, very creative uh, activities. Uh, these are all uh, summarized and how uh, the embodied aspects, how the motoric uh, dimensions of learning, how the perceptual uh, aspects of learning, that uh, how we can open our mind through our senses and how children becoming more and more aware of uh, how to use their senses in, in discovering uh, the, the world around them and uh, how uh, this becomes the basis of learning of more systematical learning later and how you can become sort of brain aware people uh, that they 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 recognize how they learn what's their identity what's their what's their attitude what's their character how how to uh, behave in a, in a, in a, in a sense but but also how to be themselves this is this is very important i think and actually uh, all this background is then der deriving uh, and uh, folding out into very uh, interesting uh, games and and actually the whole second uh, whole whole so maybe more than a half of the book is just these game descriptions and game illustrations. So imagination, creativity, different thinking skills, motoric uh, development, cognitive skills, uh, discovering the world through patterns and uh, through uh, hands-on activities using very simple tools, uh, how uh, you can use building blocks to build up thinking as well and uh, how to use different manipulatives um, on, on a purposeful way to discover, for example, symmetries uh, and the notion of symmetry and how you can uh, start uh, community learning, collaborative creativities, uh, how it can be uh, recognized and also healthy lifestyle, well-being uh, and uh, how to develop uh, children's life uh, through uh, very uh, many aspects so um, actually this is uh, uh, actual, um, I tell uh, now about the book I think uh, my time slot is pretty much over uh, soon and um, uh, let's see uh, the question and answer section and uh, if we will have time I would like to recommend the game also if you will have interaction and if, if you are ready for some interaction. So uh, maybe after or before uh, the discussion, if you type a number uh, between 1 and 116, I try to introduce you a game from the book. OK, so are you are you ready? And maybe we can we can take, take a try. So just put a number in the in the chat between 1 and 116 and i will try to show you a game from the book uh, if you think you need time to interact uh, we can also go to the questions and answers and i keep this offer to you open okay so when i see the number between 1 and 100 16 in the chat. I don't see now. Don't see now any numbers, but also if you say some number, uh, we can we can try that. But let's move on to the questions and answers section. Thanks a lot for your attention. There are a lot of numbers there already. Oh, yes, okay. I don't see the chat uh, apparently. I, okay. I can I can tell I can tell the numbers. So the first number is uh, 73. Okay, uh, 73. Uh, you can see this is this is very risky for a presenter because I have no idea at all what is 73. Uh, yeah, of course I'm uh, dealing uh, with this topic, but uh, I can I just can't know every of this activity uh, by heart. That's why it's good that I have this book here. So I try to 
go 73. Do you, you can see my screen, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 73 is a very uh, simple game. It's called Tree Tag. This game is suitable to be played at a place where there are several trees near each other. Each player choose a tree that is their home. One of the players does not have a tree, so that player, is it, when it shouts, the house is on fire, must move. Mm -hmm. Every player must change trees. It tries to take over a tree for themselves. The player who is left with no tree becomes the new it. Okay, <laughs> what do you think? I, I really would like to try this game right now with Andre and uh, Ale, Alena and Johan. Okay. <laughs> 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 is there any more numbers so yeah, uh, uh, you, can, you can open you can open the chat uh, on your uh, uh, right side in the screen you see the 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 signature chat up there do you uh -huh. see it? yeah push, okay. push that button yeah yeah okay uh, but i think it's frozen for me or something but if you can say it's me India. number if you want it offers 88 88, 88, 88. Okay, okay, sorry. Thanks a lot. Uh, let's see what is 88. It's not too far from 73. 88. Uh, moving there. I'm very excited. How about you? What, mm -hmm. What's 88? Oh, practical activities for playing with beanbags. So this is not even one game. So uh, you can move freely with beanbags or the children can carry the bean bag with several different body parts. Oh, I, I'm, I'm not so good in that, I think. I can put on the top of my head, on the shoulders, with toes. Toes, oh, I'm not sure. I'm not so good in uh, football. On the back on, and on the stomach. Okay. Or walking along a line, along a bench, holding a bean bag in their hand or on top of their head. Yes. Why not? Building a route with the bean bags. Which of the children can walk the bags on uh, on one foot? That's 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 interesting. Or throwing the bags. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. Throwing the bags in diverse ways with both hands, alternating hands. Yeah. So you can see that even this very simple tool you use everywhere. Uh, you can have it uh, very simply bean bag. But there are many ideas which mm -hmm. you might even not thought. Uh, you already maybe. A beanbag expert, but you might mm -hmm. find a new beanbag activity here in this book. Yeah, why not? Nice. Uh, then Deborah offers 54. 54. That's a, that's a good number. I, I like the number. Uh, let's let's go, move to 54. Johan, next time we can uh, have a lo lottery. Uh, yes. For, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay and, and and yeah thanks a lot Deborah this is this is a game which I suggested thanks I love this game it's a uh, uh, you can have these uh, figures uh, maybe maybe from from the book or or you can draw it uh, as, a, as a as a parent or as a teacher or or you can uh, maybe choose uh, an, another any any face picture for example and and cut the half of it and then give it uh, to the to the children and let them uh, to to finish uh, the other half but of course this is also can be a geometric uh, figure but also can be for example uh, an animal or or any any kind of uh, object come come here and of course uh, if uh, they start to build this face uh, this can be a, a symmetric face or a asymmetric face or or different uh, kind of stories uh, can come uh, from this from this draw the other half uh, mm -hmm. type of game okay mm -hmm. shall we continue this or or there are some other questions uh, coming uh, well, to the public here maybe or to, I think to it could be good to take Take Ratnika and Diptiman and Gorana at least. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. we have three, three more. Three more okay. now. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm happy. I just didn't want to uh, spend all the time with, with, you know, this playing playfulness. We need to be serious. No? Okay. But our attendees can say whether they would like to move on or okay. whether they would like to, to, to ask the questions already. What is better for you? 
maybe you can you can say or you can vote <laughs> yeah until until we get some questions to i'm ready for the next yeah game. 25 25 okay 25 yeah um, radika offers offer 25 yeah who, who is that who was that uh, uh it was radnika okay so this yeah. one goes to you a new song this song goes to you a song mm -hmm. can be taught to a small or large group of course uh, you can have for example pictures or equipment of the events of the song yeah right right why not so if you think some about some topics you might already have some uh equipment there or some pictures or some something what is mentioned in the song and then let the children children hear the song sing the song listening skills learning being happy together memorize this song together or discover the rhythmic pattern so and the teacher maybe can tell the story of the song and the lyrics of the song are learned uh, by the teacher by singing or saying a sentence or a rhythm one by one the children repeat them by singing the teacher or a child shows some pictures or equipment associated uh -huh. as the song goes along the children can be involved and they can not only sing it but show some uh, elements uh, some some story points uh, from this song and they can also clapping stomping with hands and with feet and uh, it's combined with the song yes this is this sounds party what mm -hmm. else gorana number 10 number 10 yeah gorana yeah hello gorana oh diptiman uh, also number 22 okay but anyway, yes. you can take gorana first and then diptiman yes yes a funny story funny story the idea is to make a funny story by adding adjectives randomly into the story <laughs> that that sounds interesting pictures of different adjectives around the learning environment a written story like goldilocks or the and the three beers or something self-invented or a story that either the children or the teacher produce so this will uh, focus on visual perception practice to answer the question what is it like with the adjectives and uh, we can make comparisons as well so the teacher starts to read a story there are gaps in front of a noun and the adjective is added there once upon a time there were bears alena what kind of bears were uh for instance big bears <laughs> big, big bears yes once upon a time there were big bears the children search for a picture card of an adjective in turns and then reason on what the picture means. The teacher can help by asking, what is it like? It's spotted. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. they, they might said spotted bears, mm -hmm. spotted big bears. All mm -hmm. the children get to pick a card and when all the gaps are filled in, the teacher reads the story aloud. Once upon a time, there were three spotted bears. They lived in a wrinkled, forest and so on wow yeah, this, is fun. this is fun johan next time when i meet you we will do yes. this game yes we will do that <laughs> many stories will come you many try stories. 22 deep demand okay okay let's go to 22. oh find the right pair for you this is this is not no this is not easy or even in life the children move freely in the gym hall to music and at the end of the music the teacher gives the children a task in pairs to follow instructions children have a letter or word card on their chest or in their hands to form pairs the word card may initially have a picture corresponding to the written word so this is interesting so picture and and writing are there and um facilitate the understanding of the word so even even yeah yes very good mm -hmm. the teacher can only use a few letters and words starting with them so uh there are some materials needed and the object is recognizing letters and words concentration and also cooperation because these mm -hmm. children need to match they need to find each other uh, in the space so 
Yeah, you can see that there, there, there is mouse, monkey, moon. So there, there can be even more than one uh, uh, right pair uh, for mm -hmm. for maybe a children with the letter M, and there might be other children with these with these pictures. So uh, and of course uh, they can change the cards, uh, and the, 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 there is the music. So uh, yeah, so there, there are many many things mm -hmm. here here. Now, Sylvia, number the last uh, game, 18. 18, uh, yes. Short words made with friends. The idea of the play is that children make short words in a small group together. Uh-huh. All children must be in the same word. So uh, there are uh, word cards are used and body awareness, cooperational skills, problem solving skills, so kinesthetics, sense reading readiness is uh, uh, developed here children work in groups of four or five children each group has a few word cards from which they choose a word their task is to write the word together with their bodies so that all members of the group are involved each group can show their productions to the other the words can also be photographed wow this is this is great uh, uh, yeah I can imagine this. this is fun. Yeah, we definitely should play it. Uh, yeah, by the way, there will be an event in the Vascular Library uh, on the 20th of May. It will be possible uh, to see our live broadcast. Uh, there will be a playing, uh, there will be a festival where we will be playing with children. So you, you can join. It will be from 5 to 7 uh, Helsinki time. So there will be a live broadcasting, so you will be live streaming, so you, you will be able to see that. And of course, later on, we can share it also with all of you. So you will see how it goes with children. And you're welcome. I will, I will send also, I will write it in the chat. So yeah, later on, you can just join us. You can subscribe to some new webinars and also to that library event. So and see how we play with children. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so now uh, we could uh, you could ask uh, your questions. Uh, you have this hand sign and it's uh, written speak. So you can just you can raise your hand and we will reply to your questions. We can let you speak. Yeah. Okay. You can also uh, uh, you can also use the, use the chat option if you don't want to speak up. So it's possible to 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 type the question and we will reply. Is it Diptimas? Diptiman has a question. Uh, I will check. Yes, yes, I can see. So I will. Yeah. Yeah. Can you speak up? Mr. Diptiman, do you have sound? <clears throat> you can't hear anything. Can you hear anything? No, I can't. Can you can you type, Mr. Diptiman? Yes, I, I've already approved his speaking, but I can try to. If uh, Mr. Diptiman can write anything, so we can just I can make him as a presenter, so it's maybe even easier for us. Yeah, I can see. Yes, so he can become a presenter so that he can. He can speak up like that. Maybe it will be the easier way. But we have also one more question from Gorana. She's asking: Is the book available also on an e as an ebook via universities libraries? 
I, I have uh, answered that the book is only uh, available as a paper version at the moment. Mm -hmm. And it can be ordered either through Ottawa Learning or through info at fineducation.fi. Uh, Diptiman has joined the room. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mr. Diptiman has left the room. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Diptiman, you have to join the room. All right. Yeah, I will see if anyone else would like to speak up. Uh, so far, not. Yeah, but you can uh, also uh, express your opinion and also write your questions in the, in the chat box so that we can reply. Yes, I can see. No. No, not yet. Yes, I can see. Yeah, Mr. Diptiman was raising the hand and then mm, not anymore. I try to invite him again. Maybe it will help. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, to get more information about our, our, our further events and also about the Euroscular Festival, Playful Learning Festival. It... Yes, he, he joined it, he left like immediately. Uh, yeah, you can subscribe to our newsletters and uh, yeah, we will, we will send you there more information concerning our future events. Yeah, yeah, so are there any questions in the chat box or would somebody like to speak up? Aha, uh -huh. so we have uh, not able to enter. Okay, uh, we have a question from Justin or Justin. Uh, what is your advice for a four year old boy coming? to Finland with limited English language ability. Oh, okay. Um, first of all, any kindergarten in Finland will be open if you are getting, you know, if you are, for example, the parents are working in Finland or, or uh, visiting for a longer time. Uh, you need to um, be in contact. There are some kindergartens that are, are are multilingual, uh, either Finnish Swedish or or Finnish English or Swedish English or Finnish Swedish English or even Russian or or uh, uh, German or French. There are different kinds of, of, of kindergartens giving giving bilingual uh, 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 lessons. If you are um, coming to Finland to stay. And, and you register in Finland and, and, and work here, you have a subjective right to the Finnish early childhood education. Subjective right means that the city must provide a place for you. This is uh, uh, based on the Finnish legislation of education that, that uh, the, the state or the community must provide a, 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 a position. It might not be the closest kindergarten. It can be a kindergarten a little bit further away, but at least there has to be a, a place uh, provided to, to you, to your family, for your children. This subjective right is, is something that is really central to our uh, early childhood education policy because it, it secures the, the, the full capacity of the working uh, the working family. 
Um, and and it is also paid for by our taxes. We pay tax and and the the, the cost for having a child in kindergarten is really low. If you are under a certain amount of income per month, you pay nothing. If you have a little bit better income, you pay a little percentage of the of the the cost. So that uh, is uh, normally how it works. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't matter if, if you can speak the language. Children learn a new language very, very fast. And uh, you will be surprised when your child speaks either Finnish or Swedish in three, four months. Welcome to Finland. Yeah, I would also add that uh, we have very professional uh, teachers in the kindergarten. They have, they possess at least master degree, many of them, and uh, they usually use also this, uh, these different pictures and they need to learn new languages in order to communicate with children. And they do really a lot to teach and to make the children also learn Finnish and understand it. And within one year maximum, the child starts speaking Finnish, starts understanding. And that is amazing. This approach, multilingual, bilingual approach is just amazing. Yeah. So we have also there one more question from Diptiman. Uh, we'll find uh, what is what stands for fin Finland International Education? Modulate the stories a little to feed the cultural content context. You mean modulate the stories to fit the local partners? Yes, of course, all the time. What what we do is we start from uh, uh, from our global education uh, academic plan which is based on the Finnish academic plan. We come to your country and uh, we read, we ask questions, we study your society and the necessary uh, traditions, and then we implement as much as possible of the local um, uh, environmental and also uh, uh, governmental defined academic uh, aspects. So it's always a question of localizing. You know, it's it's not very difficult to understand that every society has their own uh, structures and and uh, and uh, ne necessary uh, traditions. And that's why, in this case, the methodology that we provide suits any uh, society because it's built on the focus of the children in the center and then the world around the child. We are trying to implement an understanding of the world around the child. And therefore we need to, to train the teachers to look at the academic plan from this point of view, instead of doing it the old way of of uh, teaching children to remember things. It's so-called a vertical uh, methodology. This is a much more interactive methodology where we listen to the children's interest and we implement an academic playful learning by looking at the society around the children. That was a good answer on, on our very good question. Uh, yeah, so uh, we have one more question uh, from Diptiman. How critical are accessories uh, to the pedagogy? Does uh, FINE or Finland International Education provide this alone supply of licenses and training, uh, at least the basic ones like carts, uh, ropes, toys, etc.? Yeah, we provide a huge amount of, of a, a long list of material. But we don't want to, to use, uh, you know, logistical energy to, to transport anything from Finland. Ropes, paper, scissors, glue, uh, colors, they are all found in your society. So what we do is we provide a list of materials and also in Finland, in the Finnish kindergartens, 
the families, the, ho the home usually is also a, a resource. We recycle um, cardboard paper, we recycle uh, cardboard uh, boxes, we recycle clothes for dramatical use, and we, we recycle things. So when there is a question from the kindergarten, do you have extra um, papers or do you have extra boxes or do you have extra pens and things like that can, be, can go out as a question. It's not necessary, but it's a good way of teaching the children to have a question which they go home with to their parents and the parents think with the children, what can we deliver? What can we provide? And then they provide that and then they feel like they have done something. This is a central issue of, of taking care of the environment, uh, being... Uh, be involved in in recycling, teaching our, 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 all of all of the, the, the involved partners to be um, uh, taking part in the society building. Yeah. Great. Okay. More questions. Um, that, that, I, I would uh, be very happy if you have a possibility to, to write uh, to us in case you have other questions after this webinar. Um, I've, I've said in the, in the chat, I've, I've put uh, our address, but I will do it again. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I have picked up... Uh, picked up some addresses also from you. Uh, um, so we will try to be in contact with you, possibly in case you have any questions related to, to this uh, uh, webinar or, or what is had. Any, any feedback is also good. So just let us know in case you are interested in anything related to our services. You can also you can also go to our homepage. Uh, it's easy to find. Uh, so and there you can also then learn more about what we do and also in case you're interested in looking at the book more closely you are very welcome to do that through our homepage mm -hmm. website anyway i i thank you all and uh, wish you a very uh, peaceful easter uh, wherever you are or uh, ramadan to the people in in uh, in the Islam world, and uh, of course, uh, all other <laughs> people going into a warm weekend. We are waiting for the spring here and and uh, listening to the birds' songs every day. Yeah, uh, we have more questions, Johan. We have a question uh, from Diptiman. Any plan to sell the book on Amazon? At the moment, uh, we are looking at uh, of course, the Ottawa Learning uh, site, but but I think that uh, Marie Kukkonen, who is, should be uh, in in this chat as well, listening to us, uh, might have an answer to that. Uh, it's not impossible. I think it's just a question of logistics. The book is really new. It's uh, it's only been on the market now for some week. So so we we are of course uh, happy to to promote any international uh, sales through any channels. Mm -hmm. And also Yekaterina is asking, uh, is it possible to get the video record of the webinar? Yes, I will reply. Yes, there will be a video record of the webinar. 
Uh, it will come uh, to your mail uh, within two hours once the webinar ends. And uh, also, I guess we will also send the links uh, on our on our homepage on Facebook and uh, on our yeah. website, so it will be possible to see to watch the recording. Yeah. Sure, sure, yeah. Super. Okay, so I, I will probably uh, write again our our contact data for for everyone who is interested, like in this, uh, because we have question and answers, and I will also send uh, type it in the uh in the in the in the chat like for everyone yeah so that you will you will you will get additional contacts i'm also very thankful to be part of this uh, webinar i'm looking forward to more webinars more more contacts uh, with you uh, i should mention that these small kindergarten videos by were by produced by the university of Uvascula. So uh, you are welcome uh, to visit us also when you are in Finland with uh, International uh, Education uh, Finland as well. Thank you very much for the great event. Thanks a lot, uh, Christoph. Thanks a lot, Johan. Thank, thanks everyone for joining us. And yeah, happy Easter also from Belarus. So we have different people from different countries. Так, привітання, вельми добре з вами розмовляти. Дякую. I said it in Belarusian now. <laughs> yeah, because I'm originally Belarusian with Ukrainian and Polish roots. So, yeah. Yeah, so we have uh, definitely, yeah, very multilingual, interesting webinar. And I hope that you will join our future webinars and subscribe for our, uh, for our newsletters. And we will happily, we would be really happy to see you again. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Justin. Thank you, Anahit. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs> thank you. Goodbye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks a lot. Bye.